Ohai. Cardiff, the largest city and the capital of Wales. Is a unitary administrative unit with the status of city which was received in 1905 thanks to rapid growth of the industry in the region and to use of Cardiff as the main port for transportation of coal from Wales. In 1955 the city is announced by the capital of Wales. The name Cardiff represents the English distortion of the Welsh toponym of Cerdyd. If the first part of a word, care, is easy for understanding and is translated as fortress, then the second component of the name is interpreted in different ways. In modern Welsh there is a word died meaning day, however it is unclear that can mean the name of the city in this context. The traditional etymology assumed communication with Havel Didi by the Gaul as the first fortification in the territory of Cardiff was the Roman fort which is probably constructed when Didi Gaul operated the province. In the case, the name of the city was translated as Didi's Fortress. This version rather often occurs in various popular editions, however the modern science is skeptical about her. Cardiff is located in the southern Wales between Vale of Glamorgan in the west and the city of Newport in the east, from the north it borders on valleys of the southern Wales. Caerphilly and Rhonda, Kinnan, Taff areas. And in the south the city is washed by waters of Bristol Bay. Through the city three rivers flow. F whose course passes through the downtown alley. A shaft. Athen LA. Glamorgan acting as natural western border of Cardiff with the valley, both flowing into the freshwater Gulf Cardiff and also Rimi. A shaft. Athen Rimi. In the east of the city, flowing directly into Bristol Bay. Cardiff is constructed on the drain swamp located on a bed from Triassic Rocky Educations and stretching from Chepstu to Ali's Asturia. In this regard the capital of Wales is rather flat city without considerable differences of level of the land surface. In comparison with other Wales, Cardiff has rather arid climate with the average level of loss of rainfall of 1065. Also this city has rather temperate climate with an average temperature of 4.5 January of C and with the average temperature of 16 July of C. Archaeological data show that since 5th millennium B.C. Terriers of Neolithic culture of Wales began to occupy vicinities of Cardiff. Obvious certificates of this era are Funeral St. Lytton's Cam. Then in the neighbourhood of Cardiff there were same processes, as in other territory of Britain when on islands I was the cultures of the Bronze and Iron Age are brought. As a result of assimilation of local population and mixture with the alien people history finds the Celtic tribe of Siller in the beginning of our era in southeast Wales. With the dam of the beginning of the Roman conquest of Britain in the territory of Gordiff there was a settlement of Siller. Results of excavation show existence of the remains of Shrugney buildings the size is 245 by 25 meters dated the 50th years of our era. Final submission of Siller sex volume by Yuli Frontinus laid the foundation for consecutive construction of at least four Roman forts in the mouth of the Taff River. All forts were built on one place with identical arrangement of walls concerning parts of the world. The first temporary strengthened camp was built at Vespasian in 74, 78 years ad and time of his construction belongs to the campaign period against Silla. 
Having the sizes in 315 meters on each party of walls, this fort was the largest of all four, and was used as temporary base for a rather big contingent of auxiliary troops. Then the strengthening was left with the fact that the construction of the second fort defensive works of a temporary fort weren't used demonstrates too. Construction of the second fort is dated time of board of Traian or Adrian. Having the extent of each of walls about 140 meters, it was built in a northern part of Old Strengthening. This fort was used for placement of garrison of auxiliary troops and entered a chain of the fort subordinated to the military center in the claim Cellarum. Latinavisca Cellarum, modern Carlian, which was constant base two of Agustav of a legion. Leaving of this fort, as a rule, contacts a redeployment of a number of the Roman parts on construction of Hadrian's Wall. The third fort has the similar sizes and appointment with the second, however archaeological data report about a period during which the second fort was left. The last Roman strengthening in Cardiff represented the so-called coastal fort, built during the period from 260 to 300 years. This construction was almost square fortress with walls about 190 meters long. The basis and about 2.5 meters in the top part had about 2.3 meters high stone fortifications about 3 meters thick, and were located on the base from a river cobblestone up to 4 meters thick. The fort had some gate with perverse towers on each side, and probably poterna in the central part of each of walls. Its fortification design is similar to a number of coastal forts of the Saxon coast, and it is supposed that it performed the same functions of a strong point of protection of the coast. Leaving of Britain by Romans happened at the end of 4, the beginning of the 5th centuries, garrisons in Cardiff and Carleona were removed at the very beginning of this process. Experts claim that on one of the Roman country houses in the territory of Glamorgan there is no activity trace left after 400. Thus, the Celtic population of Wales was again provided to itself. About the period of the early Middle Ages in the neighborhood of future capital of Wales the insignificant amount of information remained. In particular, Landowski charters fix existence in the 7th century on the lands of Cardiff of the small independent kingdom, however even his name didn't reach our time. And the earth of southeast Wales were united in the kingdom Glebesin, and Cardiff which possibly strongly decreased in sizes was included into hereditary lands of descendants of Mary de Tudriga who ruled the kingdom before Norman invasion at the end of the 11th century. During the visit of Decabard in 1081 which was officially presented as a pilgrimage in St. David's William the Conqueror for the first time personally showed the claims for Wales, having accepted Adri's Tudor. Same year the beginning of construction of the Norman lock in Cardiff is dated. Originally the lock was wooden, however in the 12th century Robert Blosterski built stone strengthening in which the remains of walls of the Roman fort were used. Since 1081 Cardiff was the English city, however the Welsh governors also took part in his history. So in 1158 Iverbuck in response to illegal withdrawal of the possession stole from the lock of William Fitzrobert, the owner of the city at the time and his family, and then held of them hostage before confirmation of the rights. During the revolt of Madoga Livlin, Morgan who supported him in the southern Wales Meredith besieged Cardiff in 1294. In 1315 Livlin Bren within the revolt tried to storm the lock of British, and then, after own delivery, was illegally executed in Cardiff by U Dispenser that formed the Queen Isabella the formal basis for removal of Dispenser and his spouse, Edward II. 
In 1404 Uain Glinda took Cardiff Castle and practically destroyed the city, consequences of it were felt until the end of the 15th century, however in 100 years after Glinda's revolt the city returned to the prospering state. The end of the 17th century and the most part of the 18th century passed for Cardiff in uniform development, the first public school, hotel, brewery, the Ludilny shop and pub were open. In 1814 John Crichton Stewart, the second Marquis of Butte, inherited a title and possession, and began active work of construction of docks of Cardiff, business for which he spent the life and for which he was called the creator of modern Cardiff. Besides, in 1815 the regular sea message with Bristol with frequency of flights two times a week was open. In 1821 the Cardiff Gas Works were founded, In the 80s, the 19th century of a position of Cardiff as the main coal port reeled with opening of docks in the town of Berry, which harbour had advantage as its navigability didn't depend on inflows. In 1901, volumes of the coal transported through Berry exceeded indicators of the port of Cardiff. However, it didn't reduce value of the last for the coal industry as all main enterprises coordinating trade in coal were based in Cardiff. In particular, in 1886, the Coal Exchange. English Coal Exchange. At which in 1907, the first ever transaction for the sum of £1 million sterling took place was open. Opening of Eastmore Steel Works Steel Foundry by the Dowley Iron Works Company in Cardiff, which took place on February 4, 1891, became an important step in industrial development of the city also. The representation in the House of Commons of Parliament of Great Britain carries out Cardiff through majority elections on four single candidate districts. The Central Cardiff, Northern Cardiff, the Southern Cardiff and Penard and the Western Cardiff. As of 2022 members of Parliament from the capital of Wales elaborist Joe Stevens. The Central Cardiff. Anna McMorrin. Northern Cardiff Stephen Doughty The Southern Cardiff and Pennard and Kevin Brennan The Western Cardiff As the most known Dix of the House of Commons from Cardiff it is possible to call James Callaghan the Labour Prime Minister of Great Britain since 1976 to 1979 representing the city in Parliament within 42 years and George Thomas, the Speaker of the House of Commons from 1976 to 1983. From the moment of the education in 1999 the National Assembly of Wales is located in Cardiff. In 2006, the Queen Elizabeth opened the new building of Assembly, SEND, located in the Cardiff Gulf. The main office of an executive branch of Assembly, the Governments of the Welsh Assembly is also located in Cardiff, in Keaty Park, as well as a big number of government services and divisions. Elections to National Assembly of Wales pass on a majority system across single candidate districts and across selective regions on a party proportional system with calculation by Dayon's method. In Cardiff are used the same single candidate districts as for parliamentary elections of Great Britain from which at the last elections of 2007 by members of assembly became Jennifer Randerson, Jonathan Morgan, Lorraine Barrett and Rodri Morgan. For elections by party lists Cardiff together with districts Rhonda, Kinnan, Taff and Vale of Glamorgan enters the selective region, Central Southern Wales, from which four candidates get to assembly. The member of National Assembly from the constituency, Western Wales. Rodri Morgan since 1999 till present holds a position of the First Minister of Wales. 
Cardiff was allocated from the county of Glamorgan in an independent administrative unit in 1880, having received the status of the city county. English County Borough In 1974 the city was as the area a part of the neogenic county Eugenie Glamorgan. Then, when the Act of Local Management in Wales of 1994 established division into the current unitary areas, Cardiff became the independent area of Wales with the status of the city. English city and counties again. Council of Cardiff is the main body defining local policy and consists of 75 dicks which are chosen on 29 constituencies. From 1995 to 2004 the City Council coped the Labour majority. After elections of 2004 there was a situation when any of parties didn't receive the majority that repeated also on elections of 2008. Thus, in recent years in the Cardiff Council the Liberal and Democratic government of minority led by Rodney Berman was created. The lower level of administrative division and local government of Cardiff is presented by 32 communities which borders approximately defined territories of constituencies for elections to Council of Cardiff and six of which are headed by electoral councils of community. BBC announced construction of new studios in the Gulf of Cardiff for shootings of TV series dramas such as Dr. Toe and Casualty N. Being a capital city, Cardiff with the suburbs is densely braided by network of highways. To the south of his centre, near the Cardiff port, a highway conducting on the north, two towns of the southern Welsh valleys and further, to Lundudnog through national parks Snowdenia and Brecon by Cons begins. From the west on the east, Cardiff is crossed by Highway M. It bends around the city from the north and is a part of Everpace Cogo Routy connecting the Welsh capital to Bristol, London, Swansea and Port Milford Haven and Fishgert. Parallel to M, but through Cardiff, four-band highway which served B4 as the main road connecting the city with the east and the west lies, and nowadays acts as the doubler of the European route. In Cardiff there is the International Cardiff Airport with regular air traffic with a set of the European cities and large transfer knots, Amsterdam and Paris. The airport of Bristol is in an hour of driving from Cardiff. The London Heathrow airports and Gatwick are connected with Cardiff, the railroad and bus traffic. In the afternoon buses and trains leave each hour. Cardiff Central, which is one of the most loaded stations of Great Britain, sends and accepts the long-distance trains connecting Cardiff with other large cities of the Kingdom on the Southern Welsh Main Line. Besides, through the station there is a majority of the trains working at Valley Lines. The second and load station of the city is Cardiff Queen Street, serving all local trains of the city including going on the railway line of the Glamagansky Valley to the International Airport of Cardiff. Besides the railroad, the last is connected with the city bus routes. The extensive highway network allows to use actively buses both as city public transport and for communication with neighbouring settlements. In Cardiff, 14 bus companies are presented, dominating from which municipal Cardiff bus is. The company is based on the Cardiff Central bus station. Cardiff Central bus station. Close to the railway station, Cardiff Central, that turns the last into the large transport hub. Twin cities. Ukraine. Luhansk. France, Nantes, Brittany, China, the Yemen, Norway, Portland, Germany, 
Stuttgart, Baden-Württemberg. Sites, historical monuments. Cardiff Castle, strength is 11th century. Kazlestan, the museum under the open sky, reconstruction of the Welsh village of the 14th century. Sports constructions. Nenian Park, 1910. Millennium Stadium, 1999. Cardiff City, 2009. Home stadium of the soccer team of the same name. Theatres. In Cardiff there are several large commercial theatres. From classical theatres it should be noted the National Opera of Wales which is located in Welsh the Millennium Centre. Museums and Galleries The National Museum of Cardiff, 1912 Collections on Archaeology, Botany, Graphic and Applied Arts, Geology and Zoology The Welsh Millennium Centre, 2004-2009 The Art Centre in which there take place theatrical, concert and ballet performances, art exhibitions and public actions also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.